Massive shout out to Blazing Boost for sponsoring today's video. Blazing Boost is a website where you guys can get pretty much all the Destiny gear at really good prices. Not only that, they will do Sherpas if you guys are struggling to do trials, raids or any high-end activities in Destiny. They'll get you any exotic armor. Pretty much if you guys just don't have time or you're struggling, definitely check out Blazing Boost. They are one of the best companies around, definitely have the best prices and everything like that. So there's a link in the description, check it out there and as always guys, let's jump straight into today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about a massive thing coming to Destiny. And I just want to say this gameplay is from an old video. I've not been playing too much recently, but I'm going to try and get back into it. I've started streaming as well again on YouTube. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, drop a like on today's video. And like I said, this one is going to be a little bit different. And as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be talking about crossplay, obviously coming to Destiny 2. Now, I've not talked about this topic before, and trust me, it's going to be a massive one, especially in the next couple of seasons. So with that said, let's jump straight into my thoughts and opinions on crossplay. So Bungie have announced it will be coming into around about season 15. They're going to be testing it in season 14 as well, guys. But that's just going to be pre-alpha test. Now, for me, this is going to be either one of the biggest issues Destiny does, or if it's done right, it could be one of the best decisions they've ever done to the game. Now, we all know at the minute Destiny is dry. And the reason for that is because the replayability of the game just isn't there. And obviously on PC, which is obviously quite a big platform, it's not obviously as big as Xbox or PS4, but nonetheless there is cheaters in the game on PC. Now I know a lot of console players are moaning around obviously trying to play against PC players because there's still no anti-cheat to this day and yeah, I did say it. It's been around for like nine months now probably, I don't know the exact dates when cheaters start coming around on PC, but trust me, there's people still at it every single week on Trials, and Bungie just doesn't seem to be doing anything about it. So if crossplay comes to the game and then you're getting PS4, PS5 players obviously playing against them, it's going to be a massive issue because obviously people don't want that. Now, I would imagine what's going to happen, guys, is with the crossplay, you're going to have an option to turn it on or off, like you do in most other games. But for me, I'd feel like you don't need to. Obviously, if they fix a cheater problem, if that's still in the game, then pretty much crossplay is pointless, obviously, doing it over to PC from consoles to PC. Now, to be fair, PS5 to Xbox, obviously, Series X will be decent. That'll work pretty well, obviously, for the consoles. Now another major issue that we do have and we don't really know about it yet is the old generation consoles. Now at the time of recording this video they've not really mentioned anything about crossplay between the other two generations so the old gens over to PC. But to be honest guys I feel like old gen even if you're playing against the new Series X and the PS5 if you're on PS4 and Xbox One you're going to struggle. The F sort of frames and everything like that FOV is a massive difference and I know a lot of people don't realise that on the old gens but trust me when you get a new gen you're definitely going to realise why the new gen players have started to become really good over the old gen players. Now don't get me wrong there's cheaters on Xbox and obviously PS5 that sort of thing you've obviously got like your Cronus Zens, your Zims where you use keyboards that sort of thing for extra aim assist. There's a lot of things over on there that a lot of people don't know about that people are using. Like, I jumped on the Series X for one weekend, and I could tell that I'd say we matched around about 10 top 500 players, and I can guarantee every single one of them that we did play was using some sort of input device to obviously control recoil over on the console. But, like I said, it's not as good as aimbot, so it's not as bad as obviously on PC. But with that said, with the cheaters and everything, a lot of people have also speculated that it's just going to be PvE crossplay. Now, I think if Bungie did that rather than fixing the cheater system, I just don't know what the fuck they're doing, guys. This cheater system with the cheaters needs to be fixed ASAP because if they release crossplay and it's PvP based as well, and obviously people are cheating, it's going to ruin it completely. And Bungie are going to look really stupid if they do release it without sort of sorting the cheaters out. 
Now, to be fair, the idea behind all this, we do know that Fortnite has it, that sort of thing. But, I just want to say guys as well, you've got to remember, people that are on the old generation consoles coming against a PC player, even some of the worst PC players will beat some of the best, obviously, Xbox One players. And that's just simply because of the difference in graphics. Obviously, you can see more. It's a lot easier to hit headshots. And trust me, I know a lot of people on old gen will be saying, oh, I think I could do it. But trust me, you can't. I've come from Xbox, and obviously, I've come over to PC, and I have tried the new Series X. Now, even people on the brand new generation consoles, compared to a PC player, the skill level is still so much different. Honestly, me on a PC, I'm probably dropping like a 1.4 weekly. If I were to jump on the Xbox Series X, I'd probably drop a 2.1 in trials every week consistently. So just take that into consideration of the different skill levels that will be coming, obviously due to this crossplay. Now, the best thing for Bungie to do is to obviously fix the cheating system on PC. If they get that done before Season 15, I can see crossplay being a really well addition. Now, for PvE, crossplay will work no matter what. Obviously, if you're on old gens, it's not going to make that much of a difference because you're obviously fighting the computer, that sort of thing. So it's not going to affect it that way, and that would be a really good way to do it. But not only that, one good thing that could come with crossplay is obviously clans, and I don't see a lot of people talking about this. At the minute, if you join a clan, you can only sort of talk to people on your generation. So if you're on PC, you can only talk to PC players. But with this crossplay, you'll be able to find a clan, and pretty much you'll be able to play with everyone in that clan, no matter what platform you are on. And I don't see a lot of people talking about that, but trust me, that is going to be a good addition to the game, especially if you guys like to get into clans that are active. You'll be able to play with a lot more players, and it will help the game overall. Now, with that said, and sort of my opinions on it, I'm just going to sort of clarify what I believe will happen. So, Season 14, they're going to test it out. Now, I'm hoping, guys, this is probably a long shot, but if the cheaters do get took out of the game, and obviously there's an anti-cheat on PC, then it probably will work really well, and I'm definitely up for it. But, if it doesn't get fixed and there's still cheaters in the game, I feel PvP will be ruined, especially because you'll obviously, not that many people will be playing with crossplay on, just because of the cheaters, and that's definitely not what Bungie want. So if they fix that, then definitely for PvP. Now, with all other things into the game, I'm just wondering about servers as well. I'm not sure whether the servers will be worse with obviously crossplay because there's a lot more going on, having to connect from different platform to platform. But like I said, I don't really know anything about that, so it might not even affect it in any way. But let me know your thoughts down below. For me, at the minute, it's sort of a 50-50. If they fix cheaters for PvP, then definitely. If they don't, then I'd probably say I'd avoid it. But, like I said, it's coming to the game, so I'd like to know your thoughts and opinions. Now, with that said, that I'm going to end the video here, guys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and we'll be back with the normal uploads very soon. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one.